Hey everyone, and welcome to the Facebook Party 101 Lightning Fast, how do you get a Facebook party up and running right away training? So a lot of the questions that we get at Sinshare are people who really wanna do Facebook parties, but they're just stuck on where to even go to get started. So that's what I'm gonna do with you today. I'm gonna to show you the Lightning Fast way to get a Facebook party up and running. I want you to know that we have so many amazing tools that I'm not gonna go through with you on this training, but so many that are available to you as you progress in doing Facebook parties. So we'll talk about them, some of those on some of the other videos, but let me get you started today on getting a Facebook party up. So this is your schedule a post page on CentShare. So the first thing that you wanna do is over here on the left hand side, there's a round circle and it's called My Networks. I want you to click on My Networks and then we wait for it to load. And then what it's doing is it's collecting all of your Facebook pages and Facebook groups and events that are on your Facebook account. So I'm going to come over here and under where it says timeline and my name, I'm going to scroll down because I created an event before we came here and I named it Claire's Cupcake Party. So I want to be able to post to that event. So I'm going to click on that heart and I'm going to turn it to navy. And now that's saying, telling SenseShare that I'm going to be able to post to that event. So you see it's called Claire's Cupcake Party. Wouldn't that be cool if there were actually cupcake parties? But I'm going to do an event called Claire's Cupcake Parties. I'm going to go back to the schedule a post page. Now once we're in here, this is where you're actually going to be able to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you down here. I want you to see where Claire's Cupcake Party event is. Remember, I set it up using my account on, under my timeline, so it's under my name. You will see Claire's Cupcake Party. So this is where I want to send the post that I'm going to do too. So I need to check mark that, right? So I have all these other groups here, but I need to make sure that none of them have any check marks on them. So actually, Claire's Cupcake Party I set up as an event. You could set it up as a special private group if you wanted to. So that's a whole nother um, training and a whole nother discussion. But I want you to know you could do your Facebook parties in events or in um, private groups, so just so you know. So this is Claire's Cupcake Party. I want to post. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to get an image to put in there. So if I come here to my cupcake party folder that I have on my desktop because I've been saving all these cupcakes uh, pictures for my event. And the first one I want to post is this really cute, you know, six cupcakes. And then I'm going to type whatever it might be like, welcome to the cupcake party, cupcake party. And that's what I want to say in there. So whatever you type in here is what's going to show up in the message part of the post. And then this photo is going to show up with the post also. So today is, right now, it's the 27th of May. Her party is going to start on Monday. So let's say that on the, no, actually I said it was going to start June 1st. So I better do it that way. So June 1st at 7, no, 8 a.m., 8.00 a.m., oh, go away. 8 o'clock. <laughs> Don't you hate it when it doesn't work like Okay, 8 o'clock in the morning. I am on Eastern Standard Time, so that's the time that I chose here. And I want this to post to Claire's Cupcake Party. I just re-verify on here that nothing else is clicked. You can look over here and make sure that the post is scheduled for the exact day and time that you want it and click Schedule Post. Now up and over here on the right-hand side, you're going to see, there it is. It pops up right there. and It says, Welcome to the Cupcake Party, which is what I said. And then my image is loading too. So I know that that is what's going to go to Claire's Cupcake uh, Party on that day. So let's do another one. So I'm going to come down here. I'm going to go to that file that I had more cupcakes in. I'm going to upload this party picture. And I'm going to say, can't wait to talk about cupcakes with all of you. Seriously, this would be like the greatest party plan or the greatest um, company ever is if we could do cupcake parties, right? So this is the image down here. This is what I want it to say. I'm going to have this post at, I don't know, 3 o'clock p.m. on opening party day. I go over here and verify again at 6-1 at 3 p.m. This is what's going to post. I verify again that it's only going to Claire's Cupcake Party, even though my personal timeline friends would probably like to see some pictures of cupcakes. I want it to go to Claire's Cupcake Party. And then I'm going to go here and I'm going to click Schedule Post. Come over to the right and you'll see there it is. It's scheduled. Boom, boom, boom. Just that easy. Now, real quick, let's say that you mess up. So there's a little drop down button over here. You can click Edit Post. And it brings it back over into this main screen area where you can 
change either some words on it, you can change out the picture or whatever, and then when you hit schedule post, it goes right back over to the right hand side as scheduled. Also, if you need to delete the post, you can delete the post. If you want to copy the post, let's say that you really, really, really like this picture and you want to use it a few more times, then you hit copy post. It brings exactly what you just did back over here. And you could say, you know, maybe you want to use this at the end. Thanks for coming to the party. Right? And maybe you want to use this at the end of her party. Let's say that her party is going through Friday night at 9 p.m. So we'll have this post at Friday night, the 3rd, at 9 p.m. on Claire's Cupcake Party, the 3rd, 9 p.m. Schedule post. And look, it's the same picture again all over. It's, it's a copy post thing. So that's it. That's how simple it can be. So you've probably got a folder full of images that you, you've been um, saving from other people's Facebook parties or maybe your company provides you with images. It is that simple. It is literally going in and setting up a post message for each one of them, uploading the pictures, choosing the date and the time that you want that specific post to hit that um, event or hit that group, and that's it. That's how easy it is to get started doing a Facebook party. So just give it a try. Don't think about it. Just get in there and give it a try. You know what? Make up a fake event. Make up a fake event and just try it out and see how it works. I promise you it is so much easier than you think it is. Just get in there and give it a shot. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.